Tired of pressing buttons to move your characters around? Sounds like you want to make a joystick. So let's learn how. So first, let's drag out our character who we want to move when the joystick moves. So go to the gray plus button right here, and let's pull out any character you want. I'm just going to pick Frog. And let's just leave him right there, and we can deal with him later. So now, let's make our joystick. So you all know what a joystick looks like, so let's make the ball of the joystick. So go to the gray plus button again, and let's pull out a text object. And we're going to make our joystick ball out of an emoji. If you don't have emoji, you need to enable the emoji keyboard on your iPad's settings. And then once you do that, you should see this button right here. It'll either be a smiley or a globe. And let's pick emoji. And let's go all the way to the very right end where the buttons are. You should find these sphere type emoji. I'm going to pick the red one. You can obviously pick whatever you want. Press done. And let's move it all the way to this corner right here where you see the numbers 100, 100. This is where our joystick is going to be. So now let's get the joystick to be a little bigger. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, which means when the project starts, this will happen. And what we're going to have happen is that it's going to be a little bigger. So go to looks and sounds, which is green, and find set size. Drag it out, and let's pick 200, which just means our joystick will be twice as big as what you just saw. So press play when you want to see what you've done. So press play, and now we have a big enough joystick ball. Now let's go back to edit. Let's keep working. So now we want to have the ball move where we drag it so that when I press on the joystick ball, it'll move where my finger goes. Cool. So let's exit out of this rule, and you can do that by either tapping above this space or on the X. So either here or here. And let's add a new rule. So let's press more in the WENS menu so we can find is pressed and tap on is pressed. Make sure you're using is pressed, not is tapped. Those are two different whens. And then pick the red circle or whatever you have as your joystick ball and then press check down here on the bottom. And now to get something to move we need to go to the red movement tab and let's pull out set position. And for X we don't just want any old number here, we want a value. So go to values right here and pick the gray arrow next to your joystick ball and now you're in the iPad's values and let's pick last touch X and then tap on the Y bubble and we want another value here so tap on values again and pick last touch Y and now the red ball will move wherever you last touched the iPad so as you move your finger around the ball will follow you so press check and let's see what it looks like whoa cool all right so go back to edit. Okay, so let's go out of here. Now we want to make it so that if we move the joystick ball to the right, Frog will move to the right. If we move it to the top, he'll move up. If we move left, he'll move left. Down makes him down. But in order to do that, we need to make borders that this ball can touch so that Frog knows that it's moved to the right or the left. So let's make those borders. So tap on the gray plus symbol again and pull out a text object and let's make our upper border and I'm going to call my upper border up 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 so now let's give frog a rule when the ball touches the upper border frog moves up so add a new rule for frog and pick is touching and then pick the red ball and the upper border and press check and when this happens, we want Frog to move up. So to, to move, we need to pick the red movement tab and pick change Y by. And change Y means moving up or down. And let's pick 25. Cool. And let's see what it looks like. So when this touches this, he moves. If it's not touching, he doesn't move. If it's touching, he moves again. Great. Now let's make a right border. So add another text object. And let's name this R and then press enter and then R again, press enter, and R one more time. Done. Cool, and now let's move it right here. Now I know this looks weird, but we are gonna make these borders 
almost completely invisible for the actual game. But I've named them these weird names so that you'll recognize them in the Wens menu. So let's give Frog another rule. Add a new rule. Pick is touching and pick the red ball and right. R stands for right. Press check. Now when this happens we want Frog to move to the right. So go to movement and pick change X by and changing X moves something left or right. And here let's add 25. Press play. If he moves it to the right, he goes right. If we move it up, he goes up. And if he moves, if we do both, he does both. Cool, right? All right. Let's add our last two. So left. So now let's add our left border. So pick the plus button. Drag out a text object. Let's call this L, return, L, return, L. Let's drag this right over here and give frog another rule is touching when red ball touches L which stands for left border go to movement and we're going to move him left so to left or right you gotta pick change X by and since right made him move positive 25 to go left we need him to move negative 25 so pick that little negative sign next to 0 25 cool let's check that out up right left up and left at the same time Perfect. Now let's do our last one, which is down. Okay, so let's add our last one. Press plus, pull out a text object, and let's call this D, 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 D. Done. Let's drag it right here. Okay, so let's give Frog another rule. Add a new rule. Is touching. When the ball is touching the down border, press check. Go to movement and pick change Y by, and it's negative 25. Press play. And cool. Now we can go wherever we want. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so this doesn't really look like a joystick though, right? I mean, what are these weird borders with the letters on them? Well, we're going to have to make those invisible. So press edit. Get out of here. And pick up and add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, which is when the project starts, we're going to make this almost invisible. So go to looks and sounds and pick set invisibility. And let's pick 99% invisible, which is a great podcast, by the way. And let's do this for the other three as well. So exit out of this rule. Choose the next border. When the play button is tapped, looks and sounds, set invisibility, 99. Press check. For the right border, add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, looks and sounds, set invisibility, 99, great, exit. For L, add a new rule, play button is tapped, looks and sounds, set invisibility, 99. See what that looks like? Okay, so I don't see anything. But if I move my joystick around, frog moves around as well. By the way, if your character is moving even if you're not touching the joystick, that could mean that the ball of your joystick is touching one of these borders. So now that they're invisible, make sure that they're far enough away from the ball that when it's at its center position, it's not touching any of them. Also make sure that they're close enough that when you do move it, it does reach them. Now let's add a couple more things. Let's put this joystick in its pit. So go to edit and let's drag out a new object. And let's go to emoji and let's go all the way to these spheres again and let's pick this sphere. Or you could pick this one, but I'm going to pick the first one. It's up to you. Press done. And let's set this to the exact same spot as the other one. Add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, we want this to be a lot bigger and we want it to be behind the joystick head. So to make it bigger, you guessed it, looks and sounds. Set size to 300, and then send to back. Okay, take a look. Cool, so now you have a joystick. Cool, so you can stop here if you like this, um, but I'm going to do two more things just to make this a little smoother. The first is you can technically drag this all the way over here, which is not how joysticks work. And the other is that when you let go of the joystick, it doesn't go back to the center. 
So let's fix those two things. All right, edit. So in order to fix that red ball from going all over the place, let me have to pick it actually. Pick the red ball again. You might have to move the black one out of the way. So pick the red ball, and then we have this rule called when the joystick head is pressed, set position. We only want that to happen when your finger is in a certain area within this square. And so the borders of this square are from x equals 50 to x equals 150, and from y equals 150 to y equals 50. So let's go to that rule, the is pressed rule, and we're going to go to it all the way down to the control flow tab, which is blue, and pull out a check once if loop. For this one, let's say bigger than. Now go to values and tap on the gray arrow next to the red ball and pick last touched X and we want it to be at least bigger than 50. And now let's pull out another check once if and put it inside the first one. And here let's pick smaller than. And let's go to values and let's pick last touch X again and now let's pick 150. Let's do another, I know so many, check once if smaller than and here let's pick values and choose last touched Y and we want it to be smaller than 150 and let's do our last check once if oh my gosh so many check once ifs and let's pick bigger than and I go to values pick last touch Y again and make it bigger than 50 so that this now let's drag this block all the way inside these four nested check once ifs. So what this means is that this will not happen unless all these things are true. Where you're touching is bigger than x equals 50, it's smaller than x equals 150, it's bigger than y equals 50, and it's smaller than y equals 150. So before we fix that, if you moved your black ball up here, you can actually make a rule that sets it to 100, 100 in the beginning. So when the play button is tapped, the last thing we should do here is go to movement and add a set position. Remember we're in the black balls rules right now. And set position to 100 by 100. And press play. Cool, now the red ball is in the black ball and we can move it around but we can't move it any further. Even if I'm touching here, the ball doesn't follow me past that border. So this was x equals 50, this was x equals 150, this is y equals 150, and this is y equals 50. Cool, all right. So you could be done here if you want, but if you want to have that last flourish where the ball comes back to the center when you let go of it, then I can teach you that right now. So go to edit. Now tap on the red ball's rules and add a new rule. Pick is pressed, and pick the red ball, press check. Now props go to Magma Pop for this code. This is where I saw this and I was really impressed by it. So what we're gonna do is when the red ball is pressed, we want to tell the iPad that the red ball is being pressed. We're gonna create a value called is being pressed and we're gonna set it to one, which means true. So go to values and pick set value and add a new value and say is being touched. Now tap on that value and so right now it's zero we want it to be one which in computer speak just means true. Then we're gonna go to control flow open that up and pull out a weight block and type eight milliseconds press check and then let's drag out another set value underneath that let's pick is being touched again let's leave it at zero. So what this means is when you're touching the red ball for eight milliseconds the value is being touched will be one and for one millisecond it'll be zero but it'll immediately be one again because you're still pressing the red ball. Now let's exit out of here. So let's add this one last rule. Pick when the play button is tapped and pick repeat forever which is down in control flow. It's blue. Pull out repeat forever and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if the joystick is not being pressed three times. 
So pull out check once if and put it inside the repeat forever and pick equals, go to values, and pick is being touched and check if it equals zero, which means is it not being touched at this very moment. And then if that's true, wait two seconds, two milliseconds. Put that in this check once if and press check. Now let's check one more time. Put that under the wait but inside the first check and pick equals again and go to values and pick is being touched and ask if it's equal to zero. Press check. Now let's wait again. Two milliseconds. And let's check one last time. I know this is so crazy. Press equals and we're checking that same thing again. So go to values and pick is being touched equals zero. So what are we checking? We know that if it is being touched because of that last rule, then this will equal one for most of the time and zero for a split second. So this rule checks if it's ever zero for more than a split second. Is it zero and then two seconds later is it zero again and two milliseconds later is it zero again? If that's true, then this must not be being touched by your finger. So if it's true, then we're going to make the joystick move to the center of that pit. So go to movement and pick set position and set position to x is 100, y is 100. And press check. And let's see what that looks like. So you're moving it around. And if I'm still holding it, then it stays where I am. But if I let go, it's back there. It only took six milliseconds to do that. Boom. 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 So cool. And now you have a frog that can move when you drag a joystick around. And it's worth noting there are different ways to draw joysticks. I think you should play around, but now you know the core concepts being used to make this. So I can't wait to see what super cool games you guys make using joystick. All right. See you later.